Hi, everybody. I'm Eric Sharp, and I am so happy to welcome you to Moo Family Explorations Day. And we are super excited at Moo because this is our first session during Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. And you're going to be seeing a lot of things coming out from Moo during this month. And I'm sure lots of different organizations to be able to celebrate Asian Pacific American heritage. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing, this program is meant for kids of all ages. So feel free to get your brothers and sisters or your parents or your uncle or your grandma and get everybody in the room. And what you're going to need today is space to move around slightly. So you don't want to be sitting down at a desk or anything else like that. But before we get started, I just thought I should introduce myself. My name is Eric Sharp. I am an actor with Theater Moo, and I've been working with the company for a long, long time. But I thought I would just tell you a really quick story, which was the first day that I met somebody at Theater Moo. I walked in the door, and it was Rick Shiomi, the co-founder and artistic director at the time. This is when Moo was in a building in Northeast Minneapolis. And I was so nervous. This was just after I had gotten out of college and a friend had said, hey, you got to check out this Asian American theater company. And I said, what is an Asian American theater company? And they said, it's Moo, you'll get it. Just go and audition. And so I went in there and I prepared my piece and I was really, really excited. And I got in there and I started performing my monologue and I forgot all of my words. Luckily, I was able to start over and then I forgot all of my words again. But Rick Shiomi is one of the friendliest, nicest, most nurturing people in the theater community. And he, he kind of patted me on the shoulder and it was basically like, yeah, that wasn't so great, but you're going to be okay. And then the next thing I know, I've been working with the company for over 15 years now. So I really thank Rick for uh, kind of letting me in. And, and I just wanted to tell that story because I think it's a really good thing to remember that as actors, we are never going to have the perfect performance, right? As people in life, we're never going to have a perfect life. But what can we do? We can make our life, we can make our performance, and we can make our day the best that we can under the circumstances. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, what I thought we would do is just spend a little bit of time. The session will be about half an hour long, and we are going to look at the actor's toolbox. So what does that mean? Well, I told you, you need three things today, three very important things. So let's do a little checklist. Do you have your mind? Good. Do you have your body? Good. And do you have your voice? Good. If you have all three of those things, you have what it takes to be an actor. So that's what we're going to be using today. We'll be doing different warm-ups using various parts of our mind, body, and voice. And then guess what? A lot of the exercises are going to involve using all three at once. So before we get started, whenever I teach kids, the first thing I ask is that you try. I might be asking you to do some silly, silly things, and that is okay. But I need to know from you that you're going to try. So will you repeat after me? I will try. Once again, I will try. Great, thank you. And now let's say, no time to be shy. No time to be shy. One more time. I will try. I will try. No time to be shy. No time to be shy. Great. Thank you so much for agreeing to come along on this journey with me. One of the very first teaching gigs that I did with Theater Moo uh, was over in St. Paul and it was for Mrs. Fom's class. And I learned those two phrases from Mrs. Fom. And that was our oldest Moo Stories program that we worked on. And we've been doing that program almost every year since. And what we do is we go into schools and we take the stories of kids' lives. A lot of the times we'd be working with Asian American kids who might have just come to this country. And we would talk about their lives and then we would help them turn them into plays. 
So that's what a lot of our work at Move is about. It's about embracing our community and really celebrating it for what it is. Great. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, before I forget, just a reminder for your parents or anybody who's in the room with you, if you could please sign in, it would be great to be able to know who we're serving. Uh, especially when we're broadcasting from our homes, we don't necessarily know who our audience is. We're so thankful to have you, but it really helps Moo to be able to know who we are serving. And it also helps us be able to do more of these programs in the future. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I think you can see my whole body now, uh, we are just going to start warming up our physical self first. As an actor, my instrument is my entire body, right? As I said before, the actor's toolbox is the mind, the body, and the voice. So we have to make sure that all of those things are under our command at any given time. Now, as kids, you're used to moving your body in crazy ways. I'm sure your parents can confirm that. Today, what I'm going to ask you to do is to focus. We're going to focus on one body part at a time, okay? So let's just start. Can we just start with our finger? It can be either your right or your left index finger. And just go up and down with your finger. Okay. And then let's switch to the other finger. Okay. And now both index fingers at the same time. And now both hands at the same time. And now both elbows and shoulders and hips and knees and one foot and another foot and go back to your knees and your hips and your shoulders and your elbows and your whole body. <laughs> so at any point during today's workshop, if you just want to get some noise out, that is totally fine. Another part about being an actor is taking the impulses that we have inside our body and sharing them with the world. So that's what we're going to be working on. Let's try this uh, once again. And now this time, this is what's called a shakedown, a shakedown. So start with your, uh, I'm gonna start with my right hand. You can start with your right or your left hand. You stick it up in the air and we're gonna count from one to 10. Okay, it'll be kind of slow and then you'll see what happens. We kind of move around the body. So we'll start with one hand and then you'll see as we progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can go ahead and count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. One foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So this is a good one for balance. And now we're going to go a little bit faster. We're going to go back to that original hand. And now we're only going to go to eight. So we're going to go around the body at eight, six, four, until we get down to zero. Okay. Are you ready? This goes a little bit faster and it'll keep going faster as we go along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. Being an actor is hard. <laughs> Good job, everybody. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of loosen up our rib cage a little bit. I don't know about you, but I've been spending a lot of time inside. I've been sitting down a lot and it really helps me every day to be able to stand up and stretch out my body. So go ahead and stretch out your rib cage. I already felt my little back bones cracking. Maybe you did too. Good. And 
And then we're gonna rotate our neck. I know a lot of us really need haircuts. So this one I call taking our mullet for a walk. Here we go. <laughs> All the way around. Take your mullet for a walk. Good. All the way around. Good. Great. And then you're going to reach one hand up. And you're going to point towards the sky and you can look up at your fingers. And you breathe. And then you're going to grab the opposite ear gently. And you're going to pull down. And then this is what I call the extra credit stretch. Put your other arm out. And you pull down. And very gently release. Other way. Arm goes onto your ear very gently. It's like you're giving your ear a little hug. And pull down. And extra credit stretch. Pull down. And take your mullet for a walk. Uh. <laughs> Good. Now, we're starting to warm up our body a little bit. Now, we also have to warm up our face because where does our voice come from? Well, it comes from out of our mouth, right? But the energy for our voice actually comes from much deeper. It comes from around your belly button, right? So we'll get down there, but let's start up here with our face and loosen that up a little bit. Can you join me? Here we go. Let's put our hands together and your jaw is going to go slack. What does that mean? It means your jaw is just loose like that, right? And then you're going to go up and down and it'll look and sound like this. You want to go? Try this again with me, all right? Here we go. Great. If that's not silly, I don't know what is. Here we go. Now we're going to go up and down one more time. And now we're going to go side to side. Okay. You can be doing this along with me. Saying your hands are clasped in front of your body and then you go side to side. If you're doing it right, you should feel your breakfast sloshing around in your tummy. <laughs> I know I do. Okay, <laughs> now the next thing that we're going to do is to kind of continue our uh, physical and vocal warm up. The next thing we're going to do is put both fists up here, right? But we're not going to use them for fighting, we're going to use them to accentuate our consonants, okay? So in school, you might have already been learning about vowels and consonants. Here we go. And then you can repeat after me. Let's try again. Good. Really nice. So let's go a little faster. And one more time. Good. So this is kind of a call and response. I will do the activity and then you copy. The next one is T's and D's. Are you ready? T's and D's. And it looks like this. Good job. And now the last one is really fun. K's and G's, K's and G's. And we make kind of hands like this, and it looks like this. All right, so now we're starting to build up some vocabulary there, and we're going to go through all of them. Are you ready? This is going to be a little fast. Here we go. Ti 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 
Kakakan 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 kakakan. Good job, everybody. Let's try it one more time, okay? Once again, I'll say it first, and then you just repeat after me, nice and fast. Pa 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 pa. Ti 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 ti. Kakakan 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 kakakan. Good job. And then just breathe. I don't know where you're listening from or tuning in from, but here in Minneapolis, it's a beautiful day outside. And so I'm looking at the river right now and it's making me very, very thankful for nature and the ability to be able to go outside and enjoy it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is a little bit of a tongue twister, okay? So we talk about the mind, the body, and the voice. So we've done a little bit with our body and our voice already. So let's start to put it together a little bit, shall we? Even though you are young people, let's do this one. All I want is a proper cup of coffee. Great. Let's try one more time. I just make that joke because I really hope you haven't had coffee this morning, <laughs> but I did. Okay. All I want is a proper cup of coffee. Good. And then we'll learn the whole song. All I want is a proper cup of coffee. Made in a proper copper coffee pot. I may be off my jot. But I want a proper coffee in a proper copper pot. Good. So there's a lot of words there. Let's start over again. I'll say the line and then you repeat it. Something that helps me, sometimes I just skip a little bit when I'm learning this song. All I want is a proper cup of coffee. Made in a proper copper coffee pot. I may be off my jot. But I want a proper coffee in a proper copper pot. Good. So let's go from the very beginning. Now you can sing along with me, all right? Everybody ready? Here we go. All I want is a proper cup of coffee. Made in a proper copper coffee pot. I may be off my jot. But I want a proper coffee in a proper coffee pot. Good job, everybody. All right, let me get a drink. <laughs> I should have said that too. If you need to keep yourself hydrated and you start sweating a little bit and you're getting a little overheated, feel free to take a little break. We have about 10 minutes more to go and you're doing great so far, but take care of yourself. The other thing that I wanted to say is that everybody watching may not have the same physical abilities, right? And that is totally okay. Whenever I teach, what I say is that I want everybody to participate in whatever way they can, right? So even if you're not able to do all of the physical movements, or maybe you're not able to do all of the vocal manipulations, you can still do these exercises. You can still bring as much of you to the room as possible. And that's all I'm looking for. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do is uh, a combination, right? Of body, voice, and mind. And now what I want you to imagine is that you are a raisin, okay? If you are a raisin, what is a raisin? It is a grape that has dried and shriveled up, okay? So as a raisin, we're gonna make our bodies as small as we can. Here we go. All the way down, we're a raisin. 
And then you're gonna become a grape. And a grape is really big. And a raisin. And a grape is really big. Good, let's do that same thing with our face. Uh, let's make a raisin face. Mm, sometimes I say that it's like chewing an imaginary piece of gum. Good, and then we're going to make a great face. Ah. <laughs> That's probably a little scary. Okay, <laughs> make a raisin face. And a great face. Ah. <laughs> Good. I'm having fun. I hope you are too. <laughs> and I'm going to stretch again. And I'm going to stretch. Great. Let's do a couple more little short tongue twisters. Eight icky icicles. Eight icky icicles. Eight icky icicles. Good. Luckily it's May now, so hopefully we don't have any more icky icicles on the way. But maybe somebody's listening from Antarctica, so we just don't know. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Put your purple peanut butter on your teeny tiny toast. Put your purple peanut butter on your teeny tiny toast. And one more time. Put your purple peanut butter on your teeny tiny toast. Good. Now this one is kind of a little bit of a song, all right? This one is called Many Mumbling Mice. And you can sing it on any tune you want. I don't have anybody else here, so whatever tune I use is the right one for me. You choose the right one for you, right? Many mumbling mice. Many mumbling mice are making merry music in the moonlight. Are making merry music in the moonlight. Mighty nice. Mighty nice. Good. So now you can try the whole song with me. I'll say a verse and then you repeat it. Many mumbling mice are making merry music in the moonlight. Mighty nice. Let's go a little bit faster. Many mumbling mice are making merry music in the moonlight. Mighty nice. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Many mumbling mice are making merry music in the moonlight. Mighty nice. Good job. I can feel all the way through the internet that you succeeded at that. Great job. So the last thing that we're going to do today is a little bit of a game. And this uses all of the tools that we've already developed today. It's gonna to use our mind, our body, and our voice. And hopefully we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Once again, shooting back to that first Move Stories program that I taught, I met an amazing teaching artist from Project Success named Ricardo. And he taught me a song that I have been using ever since. So Ricardo, if you're out there, thank you so much. This song is called She She Kule. She She Kule is a favorite among the Mu teaching artists. Whenever we go out to a school or an after school program or a community center, even senior centers, we've used this in productions for warmups 
We use it almost every time we teach, and it's a and it's a big favorite. And I think you'll understand why. Basically, what's going to happen is that I am going to teach you a short song, and then you are going to use those lyrics to make up your own movement. Okay. So now, because of the way that this is set up today, I will do a demonstration, and then you can copy. Me. But the thing is, just like all of these exercises that we've already done today, you can take them and do them anytime you want. You can enlist your parents. You can enlist your stuffed animals. You can enlist your dog if you want. I don't know if the dog will like it, but you can try. <laughs> so this game is called Shay Shay Kule. Basically, we're just going to learn the song first, okay? It goes like this. Repeat after me, please. Shake, shake, cool a Shake, kofi, sa. Kofi, sa, la, la. Ala, ki, la, la. She, a, yen, de. She, a, yen, de. Great. So I know these are probably new words for you but I'll be here to help you. Now, the next step is, is that I am going to say those words at the same time that I add movement to it, all right? So now, whatever I do with the words and the movement, you wanna try to copy me exactly, okay? Here we go. Shake, shake, kule. Shake, kofi, sa. Kofi, sa, la, la. Ala ki la la. She a yen de. She a yen de. Great job out there. So let's try it one more time. So we're doing she she kule, and this time I'll do it again. And you can do any sound and movement that you want. Okay, anything you want. Here we go. Shake, shake, kule. Shake, kofi sa. la la. Ala ki la la. She a yen de. She a yen de. Great job, everybody. I feel like I repeated some moves, but the spirit was different every time. <laughs> Our time has gone by so fast today. I just want to say thank you to all of you sheltering at home. I know this has been a uh, kind of weird time for all of us, but I think it's also really good to look at the good parts of what it means to be with our family uh, for for these times when we are not able to kind of contact the outside world. What does it mean when we're in a room with our loved ones, right? What does it mean to take advantage of that time with each other, as well as knowing the people that we miss from the outside, right? Because we'll get a chance to be with those people again, just not today. But I really, really thank you for being with me today. It's meant a lot to be able to share a little bit of silliness a little bit of joy with you. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please keep in touch with Theater Mood. If you go to our website, theatermood.org, you can see all of the activities that we're doing during this time. We have Moo Mondays on Monday nights. We have Moutini Hours on Friday. We have Moo Family Explorations on Saturdays. And we are just having a blast creating content for you and making sure that we all stay connected. If you could, before you log off the computer for the day, if your parents or anybody else who's watching are able to make a donation to Moo, it really, really helps us to be able to continue this programming and pay our artists to be able to bring these things to you. Next week, it is so exciting for me to be able to share that you are going to be working with Sheena Jansen Kelly, and she's going to be doing an awesome segment on costume design. So be sure to check in. Sheena is one of our longtime artists, and she'll be able to kind of let you see a little peek into the world of how costumes are created for theater. 
I just want to say thank you once again from Minneapolis. Uh, I hope you and your family are staying safe and sane. Um, and keep working on those actors toolbox tools, right? Keep developing your mind, body, and voice in whatever time you have to be able to do that. And it'll really come in handy later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.